Hello everybody. Um, today is August 29th, 2019. It is 428 p.m. Roughly 45 minutes ago, I finished the newts! Yay! I am so excited. Um, I had a fantastic reading month, and there's still a couple days to go. And I've got a whole stack of books waiting on me to get to them. Um, anyway, I want to hit the highlights. I finished off the last book I read was With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. And that covered Muggle Studies Outstanding. Read a book written by a person of color. Loved the book. It's fantastic. I thought it did a very good job of showing that a teen mother isn't necessarily irresponsible and a slut and things like that. Like a lot of stereotypes come out. Imani was very responsible and actually made it a positive that she was willing to work for this. She knew it was her responsibility to take care of her daughter. She found a way to do it. Along with everything else. Finishing school. Whatever. Really thought it was a pretty good way to end the newts. Um, I was going for Alchemist which was only 17 prompts that I had to finish. I finished 36 because I'm insane and a completionist and that makes me an outstanding al alchemist I guess if I got outstanding in all subjects. Um, <coughs> really glad I was able to pull it off. My shortest book oh, I had one at 96 pages and one at 97 pages. Um, 96 pages is a book called An Outhouse by Any Other Name. Um, I use that for read a paperback book. I, it was very short. It was a a book about outhouses in Arkansas. A photographer that lives in Arkansas took pictures of outhouses. Really nice, beautiful photographs. Kind of things I would have shot had I the you know place to go. Um, I I don't know any any if I've ever mentioned this or if any of you know this that my first degree. I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Photography, so yeah. That's the kind of thing I enjoyed doing, was taking pictures of abandoned things, old things, landscapey things. Um, so that really appealed to me because the photography style is very similar to what I would have done. And it was a very quick book. Um, so one side would be the photograph and then the other side would be you know, the caption about the photograph and a little saying or verse or something that kind of tied into what was going on. So that was kind of fun. Kind of a different book. Um, some highlights. I read The Phantom of the Opera for about the seventh time. Still love it. Still five stars. Still my favorite book of all time. Still probably the most amazing love story I've ever read. Um, yeah. A uh, couple that I wasn't crazy about, and it's interesting that they were written by brothers. Um, the first one was An Abundance of Catherines. I really like John Green's writing. And it wasn't the writing style, but I think it was the subject. I just did not connect with the main character. And there was so much math dumped in there. And I, that just turned my brain off and kind of it was a fight for me to finish the book. It really, I couldn't find it on audio. Probably because of all the graphs and math equations and stuff. How do you read a graph? You know, as an audio thing. Um, you kind of need to see that visually. And the other one was uh, an absolutely, an absolutely remarkable thing. It was an all right book. I think I gave it three stars. Um, where I gave an abundance of Catherine's two stars. <laughs> Sorry, John Green. Love your stuff, but not that one. Wasn't for me. Um, uh, just absolutely wonderful, thi absolutely remarkable thing wasn't for me either. I, I'm not a big sci-fi person, and I needed a sci-fi book. And I thought, oh, I haven't read this yet. Everybody's talking about it. So it's supposed to be really good. It was all right. I, I'm just not a sci-fi person. So I don't feel qualified to really discuss it that much. It just, it wasn't for me. It wasn't my kind of book. Now, 
I did love some things that I read that I wasn't expecting. Um, a couple of things that I, I really didn't know much about. One called Sorcery for Beginners. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I looked at it and I thought, oh, it's going to be like a Harry Potter ripoff. But it really wasn't. Um, this kid gets transplanted from Cleveland to Las Vegas, which in itself is just mind-blowing how vastly different the two places are. Of course, Cleveland is a strange place anyway, but <laughs> I live about three hours from Cleveland. I've driven there. It's strange. But then I live in a little no-place town, which is strange in itself, so... And it's all in Ohio. And as an Ohioan through and through, born and bred, I can say, we are strange. Anyway, <laughs> Sorcery for Beginners, um, this kid is running from a bully. He runs into this bookshop called Codex Arcanum and becomes recruited to fight in this war between sorcerers and the Euclidians. The Euclidians want to stop magic from existing. So they're doing everything they can to get rid of all the sorcerers and get rid of magic. So not exactly a Harry Potter ripoff. Um, but Harry Potter is referenced a couple times. J.K. Rowling's mentioned a couple times. So they're aware of Harry Potter in this universe. Uh, so pretty interesting. The other one that was a big surprise to me was Every Heart a Doorway. I had no desire to read it at all. I thought, ugh, I don't want to read about fairy tales and fairy lands and stuff. But I needed a short book. It was available. I listened to it. And now I want to read the rest of the series. So maybe it's Shauna McGuire's writing. Maybe it was just that good of a story. Because I'm not big on fae and fairies. But it wasn't that, and I kind of had it in my head that that was going to be the bulk of it. But being that it was more set in like a boarding school for these kids that have returned from those kind of situations, I think now that I understand that better, I really enjoyed the story. So that was a very pleasant surprise for me. And yet another series for me to start reading. Um, another series I started because of this readathon, and also it was um, recommended about a bazillion times from by Leanne from Literary Diversions. If you have, don't watch her, start watching her. She's fantastic. I absolutely love her. Um, but she keeps talking about the Lockwood and Co. series. It's a mystery series. <coughs> And I read the first one called The Screaming Staircase. Absolutely loved it. Looking forward to getting a hold of the next book. I think I have it requested on Overdrive. That's the problem. I've got so many books requested. I'll never get through them all. Um, but really enjoyed it. It had things that I love. Haunted houses and ghosts and spooky stuff. I, it is, I don't know. Paranormal mystery, I guess you could call it. I really enjoyed it. Um also enjoyed Heretics Anonymous which I wasn't entirely sure again what to expect absolutely loved it. it there was so much humor and the one liners were just fabulous um, so totally enjoyed that read a couple romances um, I can't recommend Eve Langley enough I love her paranormal romances excuse me, I had a summer cold and this is the last of the cough and it's just hanging on and it always wants to come out when I'm trying to talk. But anyway, Eve Langley. I read uh, Mr. Peabody's House, which is the second book in the Vampires, Werewolves, and Demons Oh My series. And this one had a reverse harem with werewolves and a human woman and um, hot and steamy and with a heaping helping of humor. So if you like humorous paranormal romance, check out Eve Langley. I really enjoy her stuff. I've read several of her books and looking forward to more. And that's my wrap up for the news. Yes, I'm so happy I finished. <laughs>